What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son no, of a Boy. No, wasn't it. <laughs> Give it a little more, uh, like a lot more zing. You don't have a catchphrase? Do you have? It is. It's what is up, everybody? That's you his catchphrase. What is up? Yeah. That's how we. That's okay. his thing. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Uh, are we saying the date today? Yeah. Yeah. Say it. Actually, no, no, no. Don't, don't. Undisclosed. This Undisclosed is Undisclosed date. Nothing uh, time sensitive. Please, please don't talk about anything that's uh, of like in the news or sure. nothing du jour. Sure. Okay. Um, today we are joined by two special, special guests. Very special. KB No Swag. Thanks for having me. And Nick Terrani. Hey, yes, sir. Nick and uh, happy birthday, my favorite comedian, Gabriel Iglesias. Yes, sir. Fluffy. <laughs> Shout out, Fluffy. <laughs> Shout out, Fluffy. Man, that dude's hilarious. His fucking... Should we try and redo his roller coaster bit uh, verbatim? KB, you want to take the first stanza? Okay. No. <laughs> Remind me who this is. This is yeah, the... Yeah, Fluffy. Who that is. Fluffy? Bad. Not to be confused yeah. with Ralphie May. That's who uh, I was thinking. He's okay. he's 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 dead. I get him in the Josh Blue and him Josh <laughs> did, Blue. Did the Ralphie guy die recently? Uh, a couple years ago, he had a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. You look surprised. Was he Joey Diaz's friend? You say Joey? Joey? No, I said <laughs> Joey. Joey. <laughs> Put a Joey soft J Diaz. on it. Joey Diaz. KB, are you bad at uh, differentiating comedians? Because remember yeah, when uh, yeah. Ari Shafir came on the act I, I and got you him uh, confused with Neil Brennan, I, and you asked a very asked specific he, question he, about uh, Neil ketamine, Brennan's uh, life. Neil Brennan I specific asked question. If he got ketamine <laughs> treatment for depression, which is something that Neil Brennan did do and talked about, insanely vocal about it. <laughs> and uh, Shafir didn't fuck with that. No, I don't think Shafir fucked with anything that we were. Yeah. Doing, to be no, he fucked with it, dude. He was fucking loving it, bro. There we were like a friend of the called his friend. A few things I said that he just like laughed really hard at I think yeah. he was trying to internalize our comedy <laughs> I think he was so he can later so he can use it oh he was trying to fill the tank up with it oh up. maybe that or maybe it like set on him that he he's not the funniest yeah yes. he's, and yeah, not, not he funniest. hasn't even podiumed not even the funniest it's it is humbling to be like not top four in a room. <laughs> it's devastating. That's why. That's you how know. I feel right yeah, now yeah. with with Owen over there yeah. cu cooking up. God knows what. God. <laughs> Who knows what fucking Owen's on right there? Don't put my face in someone else's body again. Was, was Owen do doing that? that? Owen will always snap a picture, yeah. and then you'll just see yourself on a body that's not that's yours. Always, yes. I always look. My face looks better in every body. <laughs> KB, did you in see this? Uh, did you see this thing in Turkey called oil wrestling? Like no, but I can kind of. Interesting. I think I what can is deduce it like? what it might be. I mean, I what don't it, know what it is. I mean, it's wrestling and they're covered in oil. Uh, Did you just stumble upon this? It was, was on, this an algorithmic I saw, thing. I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> you may also and like thumbnail some, is for it, it in like some type of vat filled with oil, or are they no? Just they're just oiled. They're up? just oiled up. And the 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 thumbnail for it is a guy holding another guy. And his hand is just like down his pants <laughs> and they're like so oiled up and it looks like his entire forearm might be in his ass. <laughs> I what the fuck's up with this I algorithm? Show me this. <laughs> Nobody knows what an algorithm is. You Twitter. can always blame it. <laughs> what was uh, what was it on? Where did you see it? Uh, I think it was the New York Post. <laughs> and you were like, KB's going to like this? <laughs> I photoshopped yeah. KB's wrestling profile and I said oil wrestler and then I deleted it because I was like, because I couldn't remember if KB like says his full name. So I was like, did I just dox KB? Kyle Bauer? Uh, yeah. Kyle, yeah. Kyle, Kyle Bauer. Bauer. It's Kyle Bauer. Yeah. Yeah. So I, your middle name's Gregory? Kyle Gregory yeah. Bauer. Yep. <laughs> Are there any others? Are there any other KGBs? <laughs> yeah. There's a couple. Sass, what, do you ever hear of the KGB? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> say, say far less. <laughs> That's the thing yeah, on this. I don't know what the frame of reference is. I, I I don't know. I didn't know if you knew Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and you didn't know if I knew Goodwill Hunting. It's just we don't I know. Didn't, if, I didn't ask. I knew you knew Goodwill Hunting. Did Sass know Take Me Out what, to the Ball? Sass, what was like the song, ever, a song we all Hunting? sang in like elementary school? What was the you song you didn't know? Game? Oh, the that U.S. Uh, God bless the USA. God bless the USA. <laughs> yeah, that's, I that's not like an age thing. That's no, not a I generation. Swear I swear to God, I never heard that. That was my eighth grade graduation song. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed I, wait, to be a uh, vitamin C graduation, <laughs> but we all bullied this girl, uh, Ashley. Don't uh, see whatever. Don't, whatever yeah. don't say the last name. Yeah, it's a specific last name, <laughs> and we bullied her, and so we, they were like, "You, our pen, <laughs> our punishment, like didn't help her at all." Which is like, "You guys lost vitamin C. <laughs> you got to graduate eighth grade to God bless the USA." The teachers were definitely just sick of vitamin C. Yeah, yeah that's what it did. is every single year. Our eighth grade graduation was like the 
Uh, it, 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 Gangnam style. It, I, feel, <laughs> no, like, I feel like yeah. I what feel does like the fox. <laughs> <laughs> Baby shark. You know how when you graduate, there's always people who like go up on stage and do shit. I hate. Yeah. Oh Nick yeah. Maybe he clapped his ass. Balls. I did not. <laughs> you do any stunt or move? Yeah. On the stage. You eighth can grade, see eighth, somebody and instantly know if they were somebody yeah. that yeah. did it. Eighth grade graduation was that, but just like 10 times worse. Because like everyone did something. Eighth graders? Oh, yeah. Grade, yeah. They whipped? Every, yeah. No, they like, nay-nay. literally what they did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they were like flossed. People were doing like the lawnmower walking across the stage. Flossing ruined so uh, like in stadium uh, jumbotrons for like four years. Like anytime a, a child got on a jumbotron, they would just floss, and it was everybody tried to do it. You couldn't even enjoy a kiss cam anymore without people trying to floss. I think yeah. it's like throwing a baby into a pool and they can just swim though. Like kids are predispositioned to just know how to floss. Yeah, they learn it. <laughs> so it is quick. the first thing they learn. But uh-huh. guys, like, guys like you and I probably couldn't. Not a chance. Sass, you know? can you can you still, can you floss? Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Dude, I believe. Speaking you. of the jumbotron, did you see that uh, someone sent me Let's a screenshot? Go, bro, in the host chair. Yeah, yeah look at this. Fucking someone sent us a boy. Let's yeah. go. Keep someone sent me a line. screenshot of Dana Beers and the guy from the Packers. What was the guy's name? Bakhtiari. David Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari. Yeah, someone sent me a picture. Bakhtiari. of Yeah, they were like David Bakhtiari and fan at uh, at Packers game, like share beer moment or something like that. <laughs> Just completely like disregarding Dana. I think that's exactly what it is, though. Not oh, to disregard hard. Dana, is. but that is, that, is. that's kind yeah. of... That's kind yeah, that's yeah, that's what it is. That's who he is. Dana's got to be... Uh, did you guys listen to the Dave Fortnoy thing at all, or no? I haven't. No, neither did I. But I'm oh. assuming... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, riveting. Riveting conversation. Yeah. Hell but, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I was yeah. just curious, because I uh, oh. didn't know like if, if it's that bad. I listen, it was that bad. It was, te- it was, it was tearjerker. It was a tearjerker. But did he cry? I thought he was going to cry on the... I cried. Yesterday. I cried listening to it. I felt bad. It was sad. If I, you don't I cry listening, bad. you have no empathy. Yeah. It was so <laughs> sad for everyone involved. Everyone. Yeah. I had empathy toward every single person. Marina was about yeah. to cry. I felt bad for Dave. I think Marina Dana, did cry. Dave and Marina. Dave was calling everybody a scumbag like he's not a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's always on some scumbag shit. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Let's <laughs> talk melatonin, right? Right, yes. We had a great melatonin combo before the, before the pod started. I think we both, we both shared that we'd take it before bed. We did. And that was, that Which was is very bad. common. That's not something you should take every day, right? That's no. like very known. It actually says on... So I take these Ollie Sleepy Gummies and they... Uh, that sounds strong as fuck, bro. They are extremely... No, like they're... They, it sounds like something <laughs> sounds that, that like wouldn't be. a hard be. drug. It sounds like something that wouldn't be. But like literally you wake up like 15 hours later when you take them and your eyes are just, it literally feels like they're glued shut. Like you just can't open them. You want to, you definitely want a sleeping pill that you can take as like, as soon as you are off your phone and you want to go to sleep right away. Yeah. Like you don't want any kind of incubation period of being off your phone and Mm -hmm. being able to dial it back a little bit. You just want to go to sleep right away. Yeah. Last night I tried reading before going to bed and it just, that didn't work. No, I just was still up for like an hour after I put my book away. Must've been a good book. It was a great book. You, uh, the British guys like narrating boring things on YouTube puts me right to sleep. Yeah, I can't British watch anything. Like a calm British voice. Yeah, half the reason I had to delete TikTok was because of like you. I just can't sleep when I have that app on my phone because it's just it not. It's just you guys gonna let him lie to you like that? Yeah, that's, that's I swear to God, I, cap, Owen. I, I told Owen the other day. I literally can't even get it on my. Ask phone. my mom, dude. Uh, ask my mom. I deleted TikTok. <laughs> I literally can't even download it on my phone anymore. Why is it you, you have a parental control? No, my phone's broken. So if what? I download and delete a, an app too many times, it permanently says that I have it on my phone, even though it's not there. So if I go to download it, it just says open and I Did can't you, download. You it. invented a glitch. Yeah. You're and the I have first that, and only person that that's ever happened. Yeah. I know. I need a new phone. That's because my it's phone's like people would download, five years old. I think it's to block for like gamblers from like sports book apps. Probably. It's a yeah. safety protocol. And now you. You banned yourself from the from TikTok. Basically, that's like that's kind of what, like a pedophile move. Yeah, pretty much. Um, speaking of TikTok, Roan's going viral on TikTok right now. Shut up. Yeah, for your dick. Your dick's going viral. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Wait, psych- oh, can we- Okay, well, there's different standards for dick viral. <laughs> well, like, uh, like off the record, just between guys, do you have a, do you have a big dick? No, no, no. Okay, cool. I beg to differ, to be honest. <laughs> From what I was seeing in that in that episode, what, what whole was lot the of viral, there's a whole lot of Roan. What's the there. viral video? Uh, so this girl, I stuff like, my, I stuff my crotch. 
I'm like so a, an 80s rock star. He's wearing the exact same shorts. No, a whole oh, different no. set of shorts. These are jean shorts. Oh, okay. These Blue are shorts. denim. Blue These shorts. are denim that should be a little bit more. I take I take my cues from Nick on this one. He who all starches his groin area. People couldn't even begin to imagine what my dick looks like. <laughs> yeah, I have never. It's given behind a, a firewall. I could. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they 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 don't. I have was a actually clue. thinking about your dick last night. Yeah. I was Go thinking ahead. About, I was thinking yeah. about the thing that you said that it's calloused, and I was like, I don't know if I believe you, but I also sort of do. Believe <laughs> it you. is calloused. Head to toe. Yeah. <laughs> or tip to, why, tip to Genesis. Why is tip it callous? Uh, through undergrad, I didn't wear underwear. And so I just rubbed against the zipper. Do you still, because I believe you said yesterday I haven't had underwear in two weeks. Yeah, I didn't it's wear underwear. Coarse. I just got them back. So my dick, yeah. No, it, it's callous to the point where it's like smoothed out and like a, like a marble feel. Yeah, it's like it's, a countertop. If you were to touch the tip of my fingers, <laughs> of my dick, you'd think it would be like a, uh, like Angus Young's <laughs> ring finger. <laughs> <laughs> Housewives try to, they, they want your, your dick as their countertop whatever yeah. they're redoing yeah. there whatever they're redoing their uh kitchen I, it, it hurts women yeah that's what <laughs> and, you said and you i don't yeah. it's just like a dagger it's yeah and it just and i haven't felt anything in years do you think that's why the military starches the front of their pants so so no one can see an officer's penis like an infantry an infantry man can't see an officer's penis because uh if he has a bigger dick then that would undermine the officer it's it's a morale thing because uh i don't think men ever want to get killed by a man who has a smaller dick if you get killed by <laughs> but somebody, that's exclusively you assume they how have a deaths dick. happen though yeah. that is yeah oh it's only smaller dicked men killing the bigger dick but like as they're dying there's they're just like i bet that dude had a bigger dick than me <laughs> <laughs> as like they're bleeding out it's like, oh, that's fine His, <laughs> um roan's dick Roan stick. Back to Roan KB stick. on melatonin. So, so KB is on <laughs> talking melatonin. You don't about your dick on the internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so basically there's a TikTok and it's like this girl and she's like, I listen to, I listen to Son of a Void out for the jokes and then the camera pans over and it's just a picture of Roan's big juicy juicy thang oh hanging God. out of those trousers. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> and it's got like a hundred likes, I think. That, that is, is that is that a is viral. Like, like, superstar yeah, viral. Dick, yeah. viral. Yeah. That's I beg to differ dick. because uh, the boss man's dick was out and about this weekend and uh, Dude, I get that did serious numbies. If a hundred likes is viral, then, yeah, then what, what was his? Way more heat than him. No, that that was his pants. If That's I wore those that, pants, he's got that shrimp. His yeah. was about the pants. Yours was about <laughs> the dick. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did I get fired for saying that? <laughs> he's got that shrimp for dick. saying Dave. Oh, <laughs> Anywhere right. else, yeah. I'd say you know, <laughs> yeah. but here maybe it was like emergency chance. press conference. Yeah, I had to fire a little sass today. <laughs> well, we do, I not- hire him, and then he thinks he can just come and say I have a shrimp dick. <laughs> Idiot! Idiot! <laughs> All your impressions are the same. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was somebody vastly different than who you were going. That was somebody. Though. The idiot thing. I I that feel was like, like he says that. That that sounded like uh, like pretty, William Randolph Hurst or something. No, like that, that was that sounded like Randolph. John Rockefeller. That was decently yeah. accurate. That sounded like Henry no. Ford. <laughs> that was decent. Yeah. Idiot! <laughs> idiot! <laughs> you, you declared idiot. <laughs> yeah, it was a declaration. That was Gross. Henry Ford that on the assembly that. line. Yeah. Doesn't he say that though? He calls everyone an idiot. Gross. That was <laughs> that was better. You got it. That was a little bit better. Showing that, yeah, doing I that at the wedding was like the equivalent of someone like proposing. That's, someone that, else proposing. That's a woman wearing a white, white dress, dress on the wedding. wedding. <laughs> he wore white dick. <laughs> I need somebody to kill themselves at a wedding. That's that would the be only the evilest way. thing you could ever do. That's the uh, that's the ultimate villain. It's the def- oh, it's definitely <laughs> happened. Wait, didn't Neymar it show up to, to his happened. ex's wedding or some shit like that? Oh. Neymar, the soccer player, he like said he said. Like that he was always going to be there on his girl's special day. And he just showed up like out of a stretch limousine at his like ex-girlfriend's wedding and just watched her get married to some other dude. She must have been furious. She must have been wet as hell that this fucking multi-billion dollar soccer so star good. who's fucking shredded is just standing there in the background while she's marrying uh, an average Joe. That's a fucked up move. Yeah, that is a fucked up move. Oh, Somebody, God. Somebody's actually prefer an average Joe, believe it or not. <laughs> Too many these days. <laughs> Seriously, famous where, guys where like us and Dana Beers. No one Shit. has any respect for the Viva, the Viva guys these days. Yizzo. The Bosco boys are just walked back in. Uh, the, the whole crew. Holy shit. F- Fastuli just walked back in. They, too. Don't even, they didn't even stop at home. <laughs> no. Straight Those here. The boys are on the grind. Yeah, Fastuli, Jake. Jake gave up the kidney to the to to Pops. Would you ever give up to your, uh, your kidney, Sass? You're too selfish for that. We've had two uh, people at work give up uh, kidneys. It's 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 a, like yeah. a ripple through the office. Everybody's doing it. It's, it's like a, good a way trend. to go viral. 
Yeah, it's a great so way. So they to get must the be fun at parties. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good way to get the interaction up. If like you're lacking yeah. on your tweet game. Yeah, or just to get a job for life. Yeah, just to, give a kidney to Dave Portnoy. He didn't even need one, but he needs one now. <laughs> Dave's walking around with eight jar. kidneys. All yeah. Team Portnoy had to give up he's the kidney. He's got him on a keychain. YP gave up two kidneys <laughs> and is out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> he got fucked bad. What is YP up to now? He just has no kidneys, but he's trying to fucking. He's trying to drink though. Yeah, he's, he's, fucking, he's on he's dialysis. Still, <laughs> he's just. Uh, he's on dialysis. On. Fucking doing Mike Stud shotgun thing and fucking <laughs> sucking down beers. <laughs> <laughs> what is that called? What's his, what's Mike Stud's Mike's uh, Mike periods? Uh, 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 wait, what's his other name? He has another just name Mike. Too. Just Mike, Just but Mike. no, but he has another name that's like he his name's not even Mike or something like that. I was in Nashville. I'm aliens. pretty sure he's fucked every woman. <laughs> <laughs> With a name yeah. like Mike Stud. Definitely he, in he Nashville. fucked my cousin in Florence. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. He just <laughs> I think every state school girl from Ohio in 2012 to 2014. Fuck Mike Stud. Fuck, fuck Mike, Mike Stud or his partner. He would go on sorority. Wait, who is his partner? He is a right hand man. Right hand man. They would tour. He, this guy doesn't do anything, but he fucks just as much. Really? Because there's so much runoff. Mm -hmm. And he just is. I mean, sex drive is uh, it's not culturally. It's completely personal. So if he has more sex drive than Mike Stud. And he, oh, definitely. nobody. Nobody can. Nobody does. That, that Mike Stud? No. You don't I think sex like, drive is think, cultural? Oh, no. I think nurture or nature <laughs> sex drive. <laughs> I think it's 100% like the Euro personal. Europeans have a higher sex drive than us. No way. They invented no. the freaky no. sex over there. <laughs> no way, dude. They might be freakier, but that doesn't mean they have a higher drive. They, no, they're they probably definitely. lazier. They probably the I, think, I think you have to have a higher sex drive to be freakier. No, no way. Not at all. Some people get, get freaky and then just fucking... A lazy lover who's who's just freaky who wants to just fist and fall asleep. They get, that, they that get happens? freaky because they're bored ah. with sex. They're just like, we got to figure out how to make sex more fun. Here we just hammer, <laughs> hammer, or just fucking black and deck, or we're just fucking. We got the power tools going. Aram, I got to check in on the caller daddy discussion Facebook group that I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, Alex Cooper was in Chicago. Uh, the week that I was there, shut up. Bro. Yeah, and she like didn't. We already talked about this. She didn't even hit me up to link. But um, <laughs> things have been so awkward between her and I. <laughs> I do. We we are we've been talking about that a bit ever oh. since that sixty mil check hit. Yeah, she it's been weird She's with you like, too. Like she doesn't even know us. Yeah, just because like I still do a little bit better than her, but she like I'm trying to make it like oh why don't you get dinner this time like make her feel better. <laughs> but then she I don't know. She'll just be like, Nick, like, but she you, know, like, you know I'm going to, like, catch up to you one day. <laughs> and I'm just like, go back to bed. I just roll over. But Mooj has a conservatorship on her, he so he's got her. <laughs> <laughs> he's got her on budget every week. He says you only can get $5,000 a week. And she's hurting because of it, because bottle service. And she wants to go out for bottle service. Yeah, she's of course. Fucked. I saw a video uh, on my, on my, like, someone that I'm friends with from Chicago on Snapchat. And, she, and Alex Cooper's like up on stage at a bar, just like daddy gang. And everyone's going crazy. Just a random bar. She was on stage. I'm surprised she even goes to bars that had where it's she pretty, that, where people can touch bar her. Stool thing, just where people can on stage. Uh, people can reach <laughs> out Owen, and touch her. You were on yeah, stage, pal. Owen, yeah. <laughs> Owen was shimmying on stage. Apparently, Owen was taking some heat yesterday because of me. It was my fault. He I, was frisbeeing coasters out to the people, fucking a hundred <laughs> at a time. I didn't, the whole stage thing I got based off of tweets. I didn't get it from Owen. Owen was on the stage. Of course you didn't get it from him. Yeah. But Owen has, uh, the, so much information has come from Owen that he's getting this, he's getting a, a, a rat label kind of. It's like, oh, we go on the stage around you, Owen, and you start telling everybody you're spilling our deepest, darkest secrets. That was supposed to be between us and the 800 people that were at the bar. <laughs> when, whenever I get on stage, I want it to be secret. <laughs> you told people I was on stage? What the fuck, dude? I did I that for people me. People were mad because we said that they were all uh, riding on the high horse. Yeah. You. What did you say? You said they think. I said they needed to be knocked. They down need a to be peg. knocked down a peg. They think they're <laughs> celebrities. I didn't say that. That was that might have been a conversation between me and you. You just <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So you just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you said it that. It would have been a conversation yeah. between yeah, us yeah, that yeah. you just doxed. I said I wanted to write a blog about it. 
Do you just like dox to conversation? You dox <laughs> my convo, dox bro. I know I didn't mean to say dox. <laughs> um, Fuck, dude. That's that's the thing with this pod, bro. Shit just slips Shit, out. I know that just happens. We just let it fly. That's why they, yeah, that's yeah. why they love it. So yeah. I'm, a, I'm a loose cannon. We're bro. libertarians. Don't know what I'm gonna say. We're big time libertarians. Yeah. Keep the government out of our. Um, Etc. Mm-hmm. Your shit. Yeah, our shit. Seriously. Yeah, we're. Uh, that's the kind of the thing with us. We don't really play by the rules. Wait, Ron, you're cock. No, no, no. We were talking. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have two <laughs> topics. No, we 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 have germinated on from that. Episodically relevant topics that we can blend together. Alex Cooper, your dick. Did she ever? Oh, she sucked you. Speculate about it. Yeah, she said it was. Uh, oh yeah, because didn't she like judge everyone's penis? Yeah, I think she did. Is that before our time? I think she did. She, she, I, it was before. It was before me. She Obviously objectified she's us. Seen it, though. She objectified the males in the in the office, which I felt was uh, uh, damaging to my reputation. <laughs> did she say small for you? I think pencil she did. size was her uh, pencil width or no? I think I watched it. I think she was like, "Roan's got a fucking hog. Yeah. <laughs> Roan's got a twelve incher soft." <laughs> Soft 12 incher. She said it was like a, the eraser of a pencil, <laughs> not even the entire pencil, just the eraser, to put a nub down eraser. No, yeah, an it's, eraser it's, that's it, been it, used. There's been mistakes. Just, yeah, a lot of mistakes. Absurd compare. A flawed. Who did she say had the smallest? Uh, Hank, I think. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hank was a, a a cocktail sausage, I think. That's that's much larger than an eraser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. significantly. Yeah. That dwarfs your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Cast a you massive shadow. If you had a pencil sized, if you had the eraser sized penis and he had a sausage sized penis, I think you could actually fuck his dick. You could fuck his dick hole. Fuck his dick hole. <laughs> <laughs> Or just uh, hide inside of it like a joey, like a, a baby kangaroo. Yeah, you can make a nesting doll of yeah. barstool dicks. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. In the wintry months, I could just hide inside of him. He'd be like Leo in The Revenant. Be like just cut tom. his dick open and fucking I'm trying to think of hibernate. Who was the guy that dick. went into the camel? It's been happening. Uh, it was. It's been going Luke around. Skywalker Arabia? and the Tauntaun. Yeah, Skywalker, okay, fictional did that. guy. Oh, did they take the Revenant from? Star, Star Wars? Wars? Yep. Shut up. Stolen one for one. No Every way. Is the Revenant is just a remake. On a true story. Yeah, Star Wars is based on the Luke <laughs> Skywalker autobiography. Have you ever seen Star Wars? No, but I've seen Star Trek. Okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, your mentions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, These guys are I've, brutal. Of course I've seen Star Wars, bro. Please, please. Fuck. Have you seen Star Wars, Ron? No. Ron was too busy watching 8 Mile on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am white. I am a fucking bum. I do live in a trailer with my mom. I used to try and co-opt Eminem's story in 8 Mile when I would tell people. Yeah. I assumed other people hadn't seen 8 Mile yet. <laughs> Did you try to like find your own cheddar bob yeah i did people still f- go crazy for that scene oh it's a good people scene. who still wear i watch like, it i watch RBCA it every now and then. hats they, they love that <laughs> it's pronounced ruka you nerd <laughs> is it yeah. i i had no idea <laughs> until okay. right now yeah. you nerd it's pronounced yeah, ruka it's, and it's just r and c it's the recession collection then a down arrow and an oh, up oh arrow how do you know that bro was you what know, hot topic Nick was on the ruka wiki up facts bro yeah. find me in zoomies <laughs> just browsing go to fucking punch card at zoomies <laughs> Zoomies has the most aggressive employees of all oh, time. They really? just they tail you. Mm-hmm. And the only time I've ever gone to Zoomies, I remember just sitting there playing Skate Three on their uh, Xbox. What they, uh, had, what? they had an Xbox in the store. Aggressive how? Like aggressive in that how they dress? Aggressive in sales? The they'll, sales. They'll they'll pounce on you. They'll surround you. And isn't I, it a small store? Yep. Isn't it really tiny? There's like ten employees per Zoomies. That's one of those stores where they like compliment you. No, they, yeah, they, they do <laughs> nice that. socks, bro. Great, great they compliment exactly. everything you're wearing. Yeah. And the then, dope then I'm like, I leave like, tea. oh fuck, that I'm gonna leave here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess do I don't need, need to upgrade anything. my wardrobe. You fucking idiot. <laughs> That's a dope ass fuck. Yeah. <laughs> nice hat, nice shirt, dude. Like the the socks. I went into the whole a, thing's coming together. Yeah. yeah, I went into a store like that with shoes that had been like ripped up by a dog. Uh, like there was like holes in the shoes, and the guy like was trying to compliment me so bad, and he like I love that up. rugged look you're going Dude. for, bro. Very vintage. I love that skimboard you're holding. <laughs> like, all right, I guess I don't need a new one. <laughs> you always do carry around a skimboard. Nick, I love that. Love that skate jack. Your that holding. will suck for cash sign that you have, <laughs> bro. I love the look you have going on Nick, you the used hacky to skateboard, sack right? yeah yeah a lot i personally so i think that 
going into stores like Zoomies and like skate shops and shit is like maybe the most hostile environment on the planet. You almost have to prove that you can skateboard because you, you're trying to impress these high schoolers so bad. You go in there and it's just like everyone doesn't want you in there. And the person behind the counter is sick of the fact that they're not even yeah. looking up from the register. Their head's just down. You walk in and it's just all eyes on you. You're really buying the ABEC 9 yeah. bearings. You might as well just quit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're holding your deck like right that. Right off the bat, I can Holding your deck you for the trucks. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that the was same as way. As I could, was, as I could yeah. offer for that. <laughs> I used to ski and it was the same way with that. Like you'd go in and it'd be like a big group oh, of people. They all know the each other. Everyone there knows each other. First, middle name, last name. They're on all the bases. <laughs> first base being first name. So. <laughs> and uh, and you'd walk in and all of a sudden everyone turns their head like you just like fucking I don't even know. The record skips. Oh, they know. And they hate you. It just feels like they all hate you. Skiing for the first time and like trying to get it down in, in a crowded group of regular snowboarders. Yeah. Or whenever I take my rollerblades to the half pipe and everybody's trying to fucking bust tricks <laughs> and I'm just trying to drop just in, but I'm scared. Up. So it takes 15 minutes to fucking drop in. And I get the willies. Whenever I went to a skate shop, I'd always like bring in my broken deck. And just so like, even if I wasn't buying a deck, I would just be like, yeah, I just. Broke, just to prove, just to prove them. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just clearly sawed straight. It's, it was a perfectly it's a clean perfect cut. Line. It smelled yeah. like sawdust. <laughs> you just like. Completely equal yeah. size. Just a 50 50 yeah. split. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what you the know fuck happened. <laughs> just like I'm trying to get the laser flip and just like, just it just. Fuck, I, guess it's, I guess it's time for a new one. <laughs> oh, you need a deck? Nah, I just need that. I need that alien workshop tee. <laughs> All skateboarders are so judgmental. Yeah, I need that Vans bucket hat. They'll make fun of you for if you don't wear the right brand of skate shit. Like even if it's just like, yeah, I like the I like the pop of this deck. There's like toy machine. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you. I went to, I was like doing a video about skateboarders. I didn't even like pretend, I wasn't going to pretend to be a skateboarder. And they were all like, just literally talking behind their hands, looking at me, like pointing and looking at me head to toe, just roasting every yeah. bit of my outfit. There's yeah. nothing that you can do that's cool enough unless you're a better skateboarder than them to to walk up and skateboard. And I mean, dudes, it is undeniably like a really cool thing. Th no, these dudes are <laughs> tremendous failures. Like 90% of my skateboarder <laughs> friends are dead now. I'm not even joking. They do die no, off. No, they no, die off. They, they are but huge, if you're like huge really good I'm not trying to we, we kick on a sense that they die often. <laughs> We had, I had a friend named Jay. Right not from skateboarding accidents. Who, we, I have a friend named Jay who was alive, and he, we were like, he, he's. We threw him out of our crew because we, we found out his dad was a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like geez. they were, they were like, hey, oh, you're rich, and he was like working at China Walk. And he was like, we were like, why are you working here? Like, go home. <laughs> like, why do you have a job? Go back Fuck to your you. happy, wholesome but, family. Yeah. Like, they're still skating, and they're wearing like just. Disgustingly dirty clothes. Oh yeah, they don't fuck They're with you. I feel like you have you. Have they all any fuck fragrance. the same one girl. They, <laughs> they do. She sits there she with her hands in there. her pockets and her loose jeans. Yeah, she's like, wearing an Invader Zim t-shirt. What's, their, they, the what's their name for them? They definitely have like they a, do name have a name for girls that like are around that they fuck. I love that there's name for just girls that sleep with somebody who has an interest. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're a puck slut. You're a chuckle, snow bunny. chuckle fucker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what were the wrestling ones? One <laughs> singlet chasers, and I know. The, I know. I know. <laughs> I know the exact number at any given moment because there's an official um, a account. singlet chaser. Yeah. What what type of girl is that 20, besides twenty seven? What are they? The battle rap girls were barbarians. Were they? <laughs> no, I don't think that they were. That just that's one where it didn't exist. They're the sisters of all state wrestlers from Iowa, Minnesota, and rural Western Ohio, and that's it. <laughs> and, and so they all fuck wrestlers. Some of them are hot because they have you know good genetics. All right. Athletic. What, what does that mean? <laughs> That's typically. I think that they works. have the same genetics as um, the wrestling brothers. <laughs> okay. I've, I've just been racking my brain what girls that fuck with graphic designers are called. <laughs> Try Loga, Log Hose. Log Hose. <laughs> no. That must exist, though. Like, any, if there's like a convention, like that's a place for them to suck and fuck, it's a place for them to swap their bodily fluids. Any type of convention is just for that. You like fucking that dude with an interest <laughs> and hobby? Yeah, that's actually Fuck true. You, when, we were at, when we were in Kansas City and there was that like uh, work hotel thing going on. Yes, and it was like and the they were most the horniest people I've ever seen in my entire and life. And everybody was dressed like they were 
on a Jerry Springer set. Like yeah. they all had the least descript clothing, no name brands, anything. Like they just walked out of a Talbot's or like a TJ Maxx or something. <laughs> and they were so horny for each other. They, they were, were all, just like were sucking down so loggers, horny. eating quesadillas and fucking each other. They were just fucking. I was in the, uh, I was in the hotel with, um, uh, it was me, this old dude, this lady, and we like go up to like a third floor and they're like talking and he's like, he's like saying some weird ass comments. I don't know. Dude was a creep. And then like someone gets in and he gets out and she's like, well, Jerry sure is a lot. <laughs> sure. Yeah. He's, he's a handful. And he was like, he was like telling them well, like where his room is at and shit. He was massaging his boner yeah. in his pocket. <laughs> he had his hand stuffed in his pocket and he was just rubbing the tip of his dick. Like no one saw. I almost had to Everyone step saw. In. Jerry, bro. Is this guy bothering want, you? They don't want you, dude. Or just like pretending you know her. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is this guy? <laughs> I was on the 13th floor at that hotel. Ooh. Yeah. Did it was it did it say thirteen or did they call it fourteen? It was thirteen. What hotel did they put of, you in? A lot know, of motherfucking right? hotels. They'll just call it fourteen. No, that's like you got to count up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Any hotel you go into, you have to count up because sometimes they'll say like the ninth floor is the thirteenth floor, mm -hmm. and vice versa. You just have to count no I matter what. Count, you yeah. always have to count because they're dishonest about that shit. I didn't know that was a thing that they like didn't have thirteenth floors all the places. Oh yeah, they, bro. They fucking do. I'm supposed to go to Wyoming. Uh, nah, there's there's, there's no building in Wyoming time. that's 13 stories. <laughs> no, the tallest building in Wyoming is a, is the library. It's a silo. No, no. I was <laughs> gonna say I'm supposed to fly library. on Friday the 13th. Wait. Wait, wait, first off, why are you going to Wyoming? First, first off, why don't you know the tallest building in Wyoming? I know the tallest <laughs> building in every state. Yeah. <laughs> Vermont is an apartment building. For real? <laughs> no one ever says I'm supposed to go to Wyoming. I'm going to Wyoming. It's I have to go to Wyoming. It's you either, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm actually super pumped. My friend Bo lives in oh, Wyoming. Oh, Jackson. Okay, it's a tourist area. Yeah. You're going, yeah. to Jackson 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 Jack, you're Jackson going to Jackson Hole? Jackson Hole. You're going to Jackson Hole. Yeah, you're no, going to I don't think so. You're not going, no, to, you're going to Jackson Hole. You're not fucking going to Casper. No, he works on a ranch in Wyoming. You're not going to the ranch. You're not about Bo? the bale yeah. hay. Oh, he definitely regrets. He probably thought that was like a good decision. No, he's done there. it for the last two summers. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, he, he hates it. No, he, he loves it. Make a TikTok yeah, account. He it. And he said they're having a massive party. He does party. not love They're a having a, a, a massive party a in huge Wyoming. Huge ranch party. So like 400 people are going to be there and we're going and I'm really excited. So thanks for shooting it down, guys. It's going to suck. You're going to a ranch. But what I was going to say was it's going to be a great time. I Maybe I'll bring a camera guy to film the whole thing for me. You need a camera guy? Not you, bro. Someone else. <laughs> All right. Have you seen the work that I've done with uh, Frank, Frank the, Tank? the Tank? Yeah, I have. I'm not bringing a camera guy. But I'm flying on Friday the 13th. That thing's going down. Yeah, for sure. And it's <laughs> you're not going to die instantly. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to take a while. I'm live, yeah. And then we have to get back on another plane. You're going to there's going to be rubble and they're going to look for days and you're going to survive for a couple yeah. days, but they're not going to find you. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be there for like four days in there. Yeah, you'll rubble. find like a fucking Dasani that you'll Ooh. you'll suckle off of. Praying to Travis Barker. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other night. I, DJ tweeted, I tweeted it yesterday, <laughs> but I was thinking about this the other night. Like, don't you wish sort of that like, like I Nick, Nick, I know you don't like flying either. Not at all. I, I, I don't you kind of wish that at the end of the flight, they like there was some sort of way that you could find out like how close you were to crashing. No, <laughs> I, I wish you know. I want to survive a plane feel, crash. One for the inflatable insane. slide. Two, so I have an excuse to never go on a plane again. Yeah. So you could just turn into John Madden and ride a. Don't a you around wish the they were like we Country. almost went down? No, I do. Why would that make you feel better? I think it just make me feel less crazy about it. No. Because every no. time I get off the plane, if I'm you're, like, but then the next you, time you're like, oh, time, we almost died last time. Every time I get off a plane, I'm like, oh my god, dude, like this was literally the worst turbulence I've ever had. Yeah. Like, are you dicks like actually scared when yes. you're in a plane? Oh, Dead, I'm, I'm, I'm horrified. Ten times more scared just walking. No way. <laughs> That's way more dangerous. I like loose cars. I, I would that. argue that. I, it, that I would argument. argue that it is one hundred thousand times more dangerous. No, but that's like I'm not arguing that. The I'm, classic that argument is walking. like, oh, you know what the most dangerous part about flying is? The the drive to the airport. And it's like, yeah, but also the drive to the airport, you're not 10, you're not 30,000 feet up in the air. You're not the and like the 20 seconds or however long it'll take to pummel to the earth. Yeah. Will it'll stink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll stink. No, it wouldn't even be like 20 seconds. It'd be like 5 minutes. To, what? 
I'm thinking nosedive. My ass is going nosedive. My shit's going to whistle on the way down. <laughs> it's like a bomb. Yeah. It's we're going. We're just we're going straight perpendicular with the, with the, the, the crust of the I, earth. So my fear, your shit would not whistle. The way that it would, plays out, the way probably that it land plays in the out tip in of my, a volcano. <laughs> the way it plays out in my head, in all of my dreams, and all of my scenarios, your fantasies are, are we take off. We're like doing the the whole turn thing, which is the worst part when you're not quite even at 10,000 feet banking and turning. And then all of a sudden something just fails and we're just and we just start we just start going backsliding. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Now, I always think Crashing another plane's going to hit us too. <laughs> just, just, oh, a, just a head on collision. Dude, I've been in I've been in the air and looked out the window. I think I have a picture of it on my phone because I remember it was when I was going home from college because of COVID and I and I took a picture because there's a plane just next to our plane. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. I was like, is that a, is that a thing? <laughs> going the exact same <laughs> thing? Is, is there traffic right now? <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that a thing? That Stop happened? tailgating us. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> you wave to them. Do they see you? Were you actually going the same speed as them, or they just whiz by? That is oh, actually scary. I don't trust air traffic controllers. My one friend is addicted to Kratom, and he does that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The worst plane. Can worst you plane buy Kratom at a store, ever. though? It's yeah, legal. you can. It's legal, but I don't, I don't trust it. If you're I, addicted it, to it's Kratom, the highest-paying job else. that doesn't require a college degree. Okay, okay. It's that's the, spooky. Uh, the worst plane crash ever was because of uh, it was on the ground. What what was it? What? That was the worst plane crash ever. The worst ever? plane crash what? ever, brother. I think like five hundred people died. What do you mean? It, it was, was there was like there was like a there was a big delay because of the fog. Are you talking about the movie Die Hard? No, this actually happened, and uh, and one of the planes there was like a miscommunication with the guy in the control thing, and um, they the one plane was trying to get off, and the other plane was taking off, and they hit each other, and both planes exploded. Do you think that guy was fired? <laughs> probably killed himself realistically yeah, he was probably yeah, like way. dana uh, talking to dave <laughs> it's like i'm sorry i'm an idiot I'm a t- yeah I, i've been I'm not a scumbag <laughs> okay <laughs> i've been i just have a dog brain have you I never brain of the golden retriever <laughs> have you have you never fucked up have you never fucked up at work <laughs> i bet me you fuck owen, up at work every day me and owen were talking about yesterday um because all these people from snl got nominated for emmys and Bo and Yang got nominated for Emmys, and he has what I think is maybe maybe the worst SNL sketch of all time, the Iceberg. Yeah, one. that's bad. And I was saying, like, if they were going to pick a tragedy, I think it would have been ten times funnier if they picked that they were the Twin Towers. Like he was the Twin Towers. On wait, the wait, 11. the Iceberg one? Didn't he get necked for that? People love. <laughs> yeah, they ne- they necked him. They off. necked him off. You got wild yeah, neck for that. That went viral. Yeah, it's it, the it, worst sketch ever. Yeah, it sucks. I didn't and he's watch. like, he's like. He's like, first of all, like you guys ran into me. Oh, and he was crowd, doing the perspective. Yeah, of and the, the ice crowd is being, like, was yeah. it? Crowd's did he make it into a millennial or into screaming. a uh, Gen Z? Did he give it like some modern lingo or anything like that? He oh, loves yeah. it. He loves to sprinkle into yeah. modern lingo. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually his jokes. Yeah. Is that like someone talks like? Don't you think it would have been funnier though today? if he was either one of the twin towers or he was a tower next to the twin towers? Tower seven, saying, like he was jealous that he didn't get no that, or he's just like smoking a cigarette and just like I, I've seen shit like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I feel like the the, yeah. the the iceberg from the Titanic is so like so played out. Well, who Seriously, gives a fuck? like who gives, who, a gives fuck? A fuck? who gives a fuck about the iceberg? Those people the are Titanic. dead now. Fuck those people. When was the Titanic? It's over like a hundred years ago, right? Oh yeah, twelve. I think it was like twelve. Nick, back me up here. 1912? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like a boat in the ni- early 1900s sinking? That should happen. It's par for the course. <laughs> Nick, didn't you no, say that? I, like, I, I, said, said, I said every time you get on a boat, like yeah. there should be a 50% chance it sinks. Yeah, boats should sink. Boats should sink way, way more. It makes no lot. sense. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't make any sense anyway. The fuck, the fact that the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria made it, like we know their names just because they didn't sink. Like yeah. it was noteworthy that they did. Every that other the boat sunk. Three that d- didn't sink. All yeah. the other boats sunk. Do you know any other boat? names outside of them mayflower okay that's a good one didn't sink didn't sink somebody followed uss coal somebody followed me on twitter the other day and their bio was take a chance columbus did (laughs) genocide (laughs) columbus did chance was the nickname of one of the uh native americans (laughs) (laughs) it was his scout (laughs) take a chance columbus did (laughs) holding up a fat scalp i remember when we like first learned that like columbus a juicy ass like a fucking t-bone scalp scalp. (laughs) like the blood is just dripping from it fucking a thick fucking porterhouse scalp what are you about to say (laughs) Oh, I was just saying, I remember when we first learned that Columbus was bad. 
And I Were you my reading some like, Howard's in? I remember my teacher was like on the verge of tears talking about it. And I was like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Columbus is a good guy. He just We have America. a day off for him, all right? It's an Italian American thing. Yeah. Even though I heard that the Portuguese claim him and so do the Spaniards. Everyone wants a He's not bit ours. We, that's all I'm going to say. Not ours. What are you, a Swede? A Pole? I'm a red blooded USA. <laughs> I'm an American. I love that. God straight. bless the USA. <laughs> People who have an emotionally driven um, opinion about a historical figure. That's a weird move. <laughs> Canceling historical figures is really funny. <laughs> like when they were ripping down the Robert E. Lee statues. Yeah, I bet you he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, he was definitely furious. Imagine getting mad about that, though. Imagine genuinely being like, this is fucked up. Yeah. Which, which way? My favorite statue. They could take down the You're statue. You're getting mad either way. And nothing would change in my life. <laughs> 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 Having a favorite president is a weird move. Just being like, I loved what this guy did a long ass time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Like he oh. had my votes or, and it's only guys who got killed. It's like Kennedy, Lincoln, like the, the, that's the only way to become a favorite. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, there was like true. this YouTube video that had like 5 million views in a week. I watched it like two nights ago. And it was a guy who was like, who I would have voted for in every presidential election. And he like just picked the winners. He was just like, I would have voted for Washington. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> like, like, like retroactive voting. Yeah, that's dumb as fuck. I would, have, I would have voted for after him. I would have voted for Lincoln as like the new, like I have a black friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, oh I have a friend. Maybe you should make One of my best shirts. friends has a Black Lives Matter shirt. <laughs> 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 we should make shirts that say I would have voted for Lincoln. <laughs> That'd be fire. That would go off. If I was alive, I would have voted for Lincoln. Where's Tommy oh off God. to? Big ass bag. Roast his ass. He's going to, he's going to the go shore. To what do you shore. fucking think? No. Hell yeah. Come on, bro. Now today. Wait, did he have an loose. expensive shirt on last weekend? Was that pink shirt that he had on? Was that expensive? It was from Urban Outfitters. Oh, okay. So no. Yeah. DK Metcalf was wearing it too. That's what I, that's what made me think it was expensive. Yeah, right. How much would it, how much would you guys, how much would you, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You got this. How much would you guys How much have you think a good paid? door costs? How much would you guys have to get paid to have your No idea. A, I could a be door? I could be sign I could be within 500. I was going to say I was going to say 500 uh probably for a good door. Like, give or take. A front door? I could see a good oh, door costing $5,000. I could see it costing 500. I think it might be uh, like a good a front door, like a, a magnificent one. I bet it's closer to $50,000. Yeah. So I know when I'm ex using a bad door, but I never know when I'm using a good door. And I think that's what makes a good door. You don't know when it's good. Well, he heft, I think if it's if you have to, if it feels heavy. Is knob included? Do you include knob? I Kyle, think Kyle was right. They range from $500 to $5,000. No shit. <laughs> But there's got to be some doors that are like really expensive. Let's how start a GoFundMe you know? for just a good <laughs> ass door. Yeah, <laughs> People need to start like buying doors more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like that door but, is probably pricey. It's a big door. No, but it's, it's but it's busted though. It's People busted. need to start <laughs> that door is busted. I want an ornate ass birch thing. I'm tired of feeling apathetic about. Oh, that. and can you search the uh, expensive? How much an expensive door is? Like a good ass door. I don't even know a brand of door. <laughs> no, yeah. no. I want to get a T-shirt with a sad. door and brand logo sad. on it. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably make one. You should find a door company and be like, uh, "Folks, I'm going to give you a free consultancy on better branding and just completely revamp their shit and, and just take them to a top level door brand." I'm looking at a sixty-four thousand dollar bronze covered sunburst door from nineteen seventy. Okay, okay, sixty-five thousand. I mean, that's what the fuck I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm talking about. Because that's something you could be a collector of where... Collecting like the, doors just shows you have a big house, too. Exactly. You have thresholds. <laughs> you have a lot of thresholds the that door, you could stop up. Are the doors up. functional or are they just hanging around? <laughs> just uh, How is it, if, if it's just if it's functional, then it's not a collectible. If it's functional, I it's disagree. not a collectible. <laughs> where are you putting the door? Frames. Oh, so you have to... But you were saying you would hang yours like a museum. You'd just have a, a hall of doors. And would you like... <laughs> a door museum. Would you like set them up like uh, posters at a Walmart where you could like flip through all the doors you have? Or would they be I, hung on the wall like, like paintings? Spent, um, I imagine fuck, them hung yeah. from the ceiling. <laughs> That's no. the last place you'd expect a door. <laughs> like when you go just to... Just dangling. Like, KB grew up so poor, he just calls big houses door museums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, KB, that's just a house with doors. a lot of rooms. But like watches, like a really expensive watch, 
those are super expensive. $400,000, $2 million watches. If we're finding out the most expensive doors, only $65,000, that's something that you could get in on, get the best Not ones bad. of them, and then have the market follow you. If you're the first door collector, being a window pane collector or something like that, collecting parts of houses that aren't necessarily going to build their own house, I think we have something there. Absolutely. A niche just, market. Do, just, do you have any door memories? Like something like that really stuck with you that happened with a door? At a door? I never was in a... Uh, I was in Minnesota and there were like... There were uh, cyclones, tornadoes. It was the first time seeing a, a cyclone. And they said you would have we would have to get in a door frame if they wound up blasting the apartment building that we were in. Um, but that's my only real... Experience with the tornado, having to get in the bathtub. It was emotional because, like, I thought I was going to get whipped up in the tornado and I could have died, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, could have been that. Could have been curtains for me. Uh, In college, somebody stole my front door. I had a party, and I just came down the next morning. I was like, "It's fucking freezing." (laughs) Door was gone. (laughs) They unhinged it. They lift you. They lifted it right off. That's something you have to do when you're like moving a a couch. When you're like getting Mm -hmm. a kept putting a couch in somewhere, the fact that that's like it's only like two inches that you can get of wiggle room by taking the door off. But it's like every couch is that much different from the door frame. Yeah, Morgantown is just like a furniture one up in context. <laughs> like what can you do with furniture that hasn't that, been done? That you yeah, yeah, it's bad. I had some boys at Temple who uh they dropped out early but they got in, they got union jobs in Philly and one of the things they learned was how to like turn on or turn off people's water for their houses and so they would go to house parties and just flood people's basements. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. They just run Jesus. out. Bro, like those are someone, just those are criminals. Yeah. If someone gave them any guff, they just flood yeah. their basements. That's, 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 so yeah, that's a powerful ass enemy. Yeah, I mean, Have you ever had like your basement flood bad? No, uh, no, I don't think so. When I was younger, our basement flooded. Like we went downstairs and there was like a foot of water in our basement. It was super. I, I was, I've been disgusted by people who like talk about their basement flooding. I, was mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't. How do you live like that? Because especially if well, there's carpeting, you do. If you have a finished basement and think, it's flooding, yeah, I don't think we like guys, see the you foot did. Of water in the basement. And we're like, don't. Right, I hate when people let's head like back make upstairs. it public, like post on social media about their flooded. That's gross. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand flash you're, you're floods. You're living in squalor. You're, li- you're literally you're making a mold. Maybe, I don't think you that's understand like the most disgusting the basement thing that can, flood. Yeah, it's gross. No one has a basement flood, and then they're just like, all right, we'll fix that next month. What no, no, I think my one homie's house has standing water in his basement. <laughs> is that a pool? Is that a pool? And he's just like, yeah, we live in a floodplain. It's just like not worth it. And I was like, what? But it is crazy that some houses like you just like, oh, that house in the corner floods. Like they, they just there's like p- parts of land, marshy parts of land that just flood it. At, I think Chicago, no, our, Manhattan, our, our, all built on our basement flooded flooded because I got pipe burst. Oh, what the fuck is pipes. That shit sound. That shit <laughs> keeps on sounding <laughs> poor. You're not making I a better case. You, you, bro. you sound more Dude, poor. By broke as hell, day. my boy. You better start know. flossing. So you yeah. to if prove your that you're pipe rich. Bursts. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that shit. OK, our basement also flooded flooded last year uh but different house okay so it's a Wait, there's habitual like habitual problem there's white collar floods and blue collar you play out <laughs> a nice a wealth flood a wealth flood is much different than a <laughs> flood from the crick <laughs> <laughs> there's always a tire floating outside you always on the news it's just like the darkest brown you've ever yeah, seen yeah. of water and then just there's a tire that floats or by a cone or yeah. some shit like that you just always it's always I think the news van just tosses it out. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a little character the in there, Johnny. Bring the tire. The water's deep. <laughs> yeah. We want to make this. Shot. Have you guys ever had like a area in your town, ta- like or an area where you live flood and people are kayaking on the street? We, we've, yeah, like every yeah. summer. Yeah. Yeah. We, we probably were like one of the more floodable cities in America. Really? Yeah. And people would kayak through? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had As like a news to, to, to like be cheeky or like for actual pleasure? We have a, a river thing. the size of a bay and a creek the size of a river. And we're nestled betwixt. Is that like your guys' slogan? No. <laughs> we have a river the size of a bay and a bay the size it of a river. It sounded like the start of a limerick. Our creek, our Wheeling Creek is bigger than the average river. <laughs> and I'll put that, I'll put, I'll vow It sounds that. like you're like running for governor. <laughs> and our, the Ohio River is <laughs> the size of the, <laughs> we have a creek the size of a river. Our, <laughs> it's like trying to fight trying for to more funding. <laughs> Fund yeah. us now. Uh, yeah. Mr. <laughs> President, <laughs> hear me out. Wheeling deserves to be its own state. Emancipate Wheeling. Free Wheeling. 
Free wheeling, we should. Free Palestine oh, okay. on, on God. Uh, Ron, can you just move your hands? <laughs> yeah, bro. You need more dick. You're framing, the, you're framing the penis. If you're trying to get any views on this, you're going to have to be showing dick. <laughs> just the reverse uh, chaps where, where my penis is out. Did chaps show his penis? No, like What's assless the reverse? chaps. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Penisless chaps. Putting on assless chaps backwards. <laughs> so oh, your fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this oh, is embarrassing. Whoops. You get all the way to work and your assless chaps are on backwards. This <laughs> is mortifying. How did this happen? Aren't all chaps assless? Yeah, Thank I think that's you, the nature bro. of chaps. Thank yeah. you, dog. It's a little bit redundant. Yeah. That's what the fuck we... Yeah. So sick of people calling them assless chaps. <laughs> Can we stop that? Can we normalize just calling it chaps? Now that the world's opening back up, so many new thrills are on the horizon. And whether you're in a relationship or th- <clears throat> now that the world's opening back up, so many new thrills are on the horizon. And whether you've been in a relationship for years or you're getting started or you're excited to get back out in the field, when the moment comes, you want to be ready. You want your penis to be ready. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. Roman ready equals confidence, the confidence that you can rise to the occasion in the moment. We're looking at the summer of love 2021 and Roman wants to make sure you can participate in your way, whether that be as a single person or a couple who would stay would still rather stay in with each other. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment. If medication is appropriate, it ships to you free with two day shipping. The whole process is straightforward, convenient and discreet. Getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash Barstool and complete your online visit. That is GetRoman.com slash Barstool. Take care of your erectile dysfunction without leaving your home. Complete an online visit today to connect with a U.S. licensed healthcare professional to take care of it. Go to GetRoman.com slash Barstool today. If you're prescribed, get 50% off on your first month of ED treatment. Make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this summer. That is GetRoman.com slash Barstool for 50% off. And your dick will be working like it's never worked before. What's up, guys? As you prep, as you prep, as you prep back to school season, slide securing life insurance onto that to do list right next to buying a protractor and some number two pencils and maybe even a stapler. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare quotes and get covered. Summer's, summer's almost over. It's August. We're, we're getting there. And it's almost over and responsibility is about to rear its head. Get ahead of reality and get life insurance. If someone relies on you for, for, financial, for, for, for financial support, whether it's a child, aging parent, or even a business partner, you need life insurance. To properly provide for their families, most people need 10 times life insurance coverage than they get through their employer. Policy Genius makes it very easy to compare quotes from over a dozen top insurers all in one place. Why do you want to compare? Well, look, you could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. You could save $1,300 or more per year on life insurance by using Policy Genius to compare policies. That kind of service has earned Policy Genius thousands of five star reviews across Trustpilot and Google. And eligible applications can get covered in as little as a week thanks to award winning policy option that swaps the standard medical exam requirement for a simple phone call. This exclusive policy was recently rated number one by Forbes. That is number one by Forbes, higher than options from Ladder, Ethos, and Besto. How it works? Well, let me tell you. Getting started is easy. First call policy. First head over to policygenius.com. In minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle paperwork and scheduling for free. Policy Genius does not add extra fees. Head over to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius. When it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Head over to policygenius.com. 
We should uh, normalize. We need to come up with some things to normalize. Can we normalize a uh, a live show for the four of us? Just a live show where we sit no, on stage in a bar two, because we we heard you guys got offered a show and you're like, nah. We heard you guys said a resounding. Nah. There was no contractual <laughs> offer. No contractual what offer. What do you mean? And, uh, what do you mean contractual offer? There was a step in. There was a step contractual in, yeah. official offer. I would have said yes, and then con- it just ignored them up until the point where they got the point that it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So you, why do you why don't you want to do it? I don't know. Just why don't you do it with us? Why don't we just all link forces? This has been I've been having fun. We've been having fun. I, I think I could do four. I could do four, but I just mm-hmm. not not just me and Kyle. Why? No, you're gonna be too funny. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the issue. Yeah. And then it'll just be like it's fucked up to be too funny. What if, and me and, what if me and Kyle went first, and then you guys were just like, "Well, what do we do now?" <laughs> yeah, well, we'll the, the crowd is too it. warmed up. They'll we'll laugh at anything. How do we know if we're being funny? <laughs> probably just have our own show's dick. Yeah. And then helicopter. That That's over. what you would have to resort to slapstick. You would have to hurt, <laughs> physically hurt yourself. Oh, I definitely would fall from the ceiling with a. On a what, what, would, what would your Yelp be if you fell through the ceiling? What would it sound like? <laughs> I think it would be more like. <laughs> <laughs> falling through ceiling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> falling through the ceiling is funny as fuck. Falling in falling the, ceiling, the hardest yeah. I ever laughed going back to Titanic is when that guy jumped off the Titanic, but he hit the propeller. And that dong that he hit me yeah. just have you seen that scene from the Titanic? No. Oh, it's the funniest. The ship's going was down. And Bo and Yang? It was <laughs> Bo and Yang is in the background just smirking. In S in the next SNL season, he's gonna play the propeller. <laughs> They're gonna do a 15 minute sketch on it. Yeah, and it's gonna crush. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> no. It could work for any yeah. anything. Anything, literally. <laughs> like he could play the corner of a table and someone stubs their toe. <laughs> That's way funny. That's definitely, yeah. That, that's good. That's a good yeah. couple's costume, a corner and a toe. Yeah. I just think it's like bullshit that and someone steps on him. They should have an actual I'm boat play the Titanic here. though. It's just bullshit that he's playing the Titanic as an Asian dude. Literally, Literally the, the comments, iceberg. One of the comments is like Bowen just Bowen just got himself a 5-year contract. <laughs> 20,000 likes. <laughs> I was like, I don't understand what has to be going on in your life to watch that and be like, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I probably just like a, I hate that. I hate when people are content so easily because I think I'm jealous. I hate that uh, that people uh, but have genuinely. a different sense of humor of, as me. Yeah, yeah like, I hate when people don't think not, exactly what, what, what I think what is funny. What aren't you as, getting? It, like, as I, as no, I have. It is. I mean, I don't know. I guess I just don't know anyone who thought it was funny. Like, I don't know who I would have to show it to to be like. You got to watch this. You got to meet more people then. You need to you need to broaden your horizons. No. You need to fucking take a class. Nah. Take a cooking class. Nah. Take nah. a dance class. Learn merengue. Nah. Get out and see nah. the city, bro. Nah. You just I live in this little it. bubble where you just they go, actually think it's funny, though? No, what do you mean? Do. I think they did just six years straight of just nonstop, just political consumption. Yeah. So they just, they just have to like it. It's yeah. refreshing. I know what you mean, that, but it's also that nothing, you can't, like, uh, I don't know, I was going to say you can't make fun of anything anymore, yeah. but that would just sound like the wackest, corniest yeah, fucking... Right. Yeah, you can't, but you really can't. You can't fucking make fun of anything anymore, dude. You can't make any fucking jokes any fucking more, dude. It's fucking PC bullshit, culture, bro. bro. And that's why we're doing this pod, because we don't yes, play by the rules. Exactly. You fucking spit in the face of PC culture. I'll make fun of you for sleeping with somebody of the same sex, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what aren't you getting? I'm going to relentlessly clown you, <laughs> but I don't I'll stifle my own feelings of the same thing. That's how I'll deal with it. There's between being homophobic and just clowning on your boys. Yeah, just clowning on your gay homie. Yeah. Like, just let me say it. Straight let me up. Say, There's a difference between fucking being homophobic and passing legislation against gay people do, being able to do anything that they want to do. Okay? <laughs> like, it's out of my control. <laughs> let me hate. Let me hate you. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> that, change the tide? Change the tide of America? KB, uh, KB was about to say something <laughs> real. real. Say, it kind of is true. Bad. You can't control hatred. <laughs> yeah, hatred's Bro. natural. KB is true. West Virginia colors are coming out. Or lack like thereof. Let out a yee yee for us. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a squeal. Fucking <laughs> so bad. What was that? Lil Sass thinks anybody who's not from the from the city squeals to communicate with <laughs> each other. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just wanted them to. Mm. 
Embrace I our them roots. To overreact the laughter. Which he they said did that to, to people in Kansas City, which is like pretty midwestern construction, <laughs> construction workers in Kansas City. <laughs> It's like talk how you you guys normally would with each other, just squeal, <laughs> <laughs> just squeal back and forth. We don't need to understand. Don't be afraid. It we, was can quite edit, we can edit. We can edit and post. We can add. We can add subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Roan didn't even edit the the real sketch, so you can hear me in the background go, "Okay, now laugh." <laughs> That's funny. Which is way funnier. No, it would have been funnier if they didn't do that. If they thought you were making an actually funny joke. <laughs> we'll keep up the illusion. Those guys were great. If you had method acted, their buddies did not want to be in the video. The they, entire, there was like a pack of 10 of them, and they were the only ones who agreed to be in it. The and entire then, time Sass was fantasizing, he was like, dude, I need to get some construction workers. He has like a blue-collar fantasy where he just like hangs out with a construction worker. And we finally saw these 10 guys in yellow vests, and we went up to them. Uh, and 10 of them, or 8 of them said that uh, that, that it, it would be gay to be in it. And uh, the other two uh, uh, acquiesced, and those were the stars. Yeah, and the other two, they were like... We were like, hey, do you guys want to... Like the other ones, we were like, hey, do you guys want to be out? And he was like, ah. He was like smoking a cigarette. He was like, ah, I can't. I'm busy. And we were like, oh, no. It'd be, we it'd will, be we will wait. It would be we, funnier we can if wait. Smoking it's it take... in the video. And he was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we asked yeah. like five times and they just did not want to do it. They thought it was... I understand. I understand why you don't. It is gay. Like the better you are at manual labor, the more gay you think being on a camera is yes. or acting anything out 100 percent it's Lame inherently rip. feminine though those guys plumbers, are the types though. of guys that would they like stick their thumbs up each other's asses as like a lark or something like that mm-hmm. like they'll do gay shit on the job site fucking clowning around with each other but something like acting is is gay to them fuck and yeah, those are funny guys, guys uh, worst diets in the world the construction workers you ever see what they eat well they were at slap men that pour so. concrete have the worst diets yeah no yes mm-hmm these were plumbers. These were not construction work. Anybody that's blue collar eats the best lunches, though. Those dudes have the best lunches. No, they have they, access to they, the best they, lunch spots. They eat just snacks. Mm-hmm. No, they'll. Dude, they, they all had a plate cake, of barbecue. It's chips. But they'll crush jerky. that during the day, but they'll also yeah. know what Juice. place by their job site has the best sandwiches, and they will go to those places they're every single all, day. They're also all jacked. No. So the plumbers? Zebra no. Construction workers, no, they're are, strong, they are, not jack. Yeah, yeah, strong is different. Terrible from jacked. bodies, but jack. But they're strong, 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 strong. strong. I suppose, I strong. Suppose. Like they're stronger Fat, than gross, any. Gross, but they can lift. And yeah, they also they have like things. a sexy amount of body hair. And oh, dude, right and women amount. love them. Women, women love. Them. Women love. What, what do them. we call women that chase construction workers? I'm trying to think. <laughs> bean, Labor bean, whores. Bean queens. Uh, yeah. Fucking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fuck. I know the event would be called a cement mixer, but yes. fucking I don't know what the, the event, the orgy. <laughs> Everyone's invited to a cement mixer. Or do, you put your hard hat on and go home con- with someone else with a different hard hat. I know what you're doing. Don't confuse concrete guys with construction workers. Okay, you're right. That's true. That's true. But you guys are different. One thing construction I ask workers with plumbers. These were not construction. Workers. Those they're they're birds of a feather. <laughs> You know who fucks more than any of them? Exterminators. Exterminators fuck? Oh my God, dude. Those guys will they get go, in like, any I'm hole. Exterminate that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will cease to exist. Yeah. <laughs> and not. that's what a woman wants to hear. It I is. really think that that's what, what women want. Exterminators are fucking down and dirty and personable, and they can fucking hunt something down. And then they. More important than anything, they know how animals think. They yeah, they know exactly how an true. animal thinks. They know when an animal will come someplace, how to make an animal come. Exterminators, fuck. There's no doubt in my mind. Keep an eye out for them, and fuck. don't don't let one come around while your old lady is home because <laughs> exterminators and handy. He gonna be fucked. Handyman. My, my and chick's handy like men. bringing roaches home so she can cheat on me. <laughs> yeah. like, honey, they're back. <laughs> <laughs> She's like going out. <laughs> <laughs> She's like break what bashing an ant farm you open. Like find a receipt from Petco. What the hell is this? What is this? A tarantula? Damn it! I used to be a big ant farm guy when I lived in Columbus. I had an ant farm next to my bed. No way. Yeah, and uh, there was a tornado that was like in Columbus, and so everybody brought their pets out into the hallway. So I brought my ant farm, and the pet owners were just so mad at me. They were just like, "You think this is a joke?" It's like, well, what? I'm going to let them die? Do you know the issues that would cause ecologically if I let this queen out? I had to lie to get a queen ant in my farm. What lie did you? Because they just don't give away queen ants. You just can't buy them. You have to. I had to like show my setup. 
which was I, I exaggerate. I was like, I have another one on the way. I feed them this diet. And they're like, all right, you can, you can, you can have a queen. What was your setup? Like, cause mine was just like the wall. It was just like one so flat I, transparent I, wall. I had a wall and then I, I, I went 3d with it. I cubed. Shut up. Yeah. Oh man. But so, then I left it open. I did the, everything but the queen escaped. They all let, went out to get food. And I was like, oh, fuck. These are like <laughs> really, really, food. really invasive. They're industrious. Yeah. yeah. But they all come back and fuck the queen, though, right? <laughs> they, they all come to fuck the queen. Yes. But so they're, it's not like they're going to leave just, permanently. I just closed the ant farm and threw it away. They're I moved like out. White collar <laughs> ant crimes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they all went out to get food? So like I, I would Bernie feed them, but I, le I, le I left it open. And so like if you leave the thing open, they'll just they'll go. <laughs> they're like instinctively they're like, we have to go hunt they're not just yeah, gonna be like i'm comfortable open. here i didn't mean to I, I fed them and then i just left it open i forgot and they're also so small like a, the tiniest crevice they went out to hit the town ant farms are awesome they're industrious little fucks had one? it was like three years ago they found a <laughs> spill of coca-cola it was two years ago and they fucking feasted they came back with sugar like high years old no no this was <laughs> i was 26 and that was right before i started working at barstool i threw away my ant farm when i moved to new york <laughs> so you were 26 <laughs> yeah i had it right and next to my bed ant farm out into the hallway yeah <laughs> the ants went out into the world I thought this was like a little like a little boy no thing, no like it was just like neighbors. an apartment complex <laughs> oh, um geez. And whenever you buy ants like online from ant distributors, <laughs> um, they come in like a test tube and then the instruct you have to put them in the freezer for like exactly three minutes. So they slow down, but don't die. And then you just <laughs> pour them into the your farm because if you but if you put them in for four minutes, they'll yeah. all die. They'll be dead as fuck. Mm -hmm. I gave them a piece of bomb pop on Fourth of July and I killed like 300 of them. Bomb pop. Yeah, I think it froze them. What's that? Like the red, the red, red white pops. Oh, 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 bomb pop. I thought you oh, meant like bomb B A L M. I had a lot. I had two farms. You did have two farms. Yeah. Who else had two? There was a couple no, kids but. that had two and one with three. No. No, I had the most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're a liar. I'm just picturing the ant fucking going out and finding like a, a splotch of spilled Miller Lite and like going, going back to the farm drunk as shit and like <laughs> abusing the queen. <laughs> well, I think it would sit on your ass all day, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it would probably die. I can't right? go I can enjoy bitch. myself. I have to come home and fuck you. There's three other, there's 3,000 other men fucking you yeah. while I was gone. <laughs> it's like the scene. Fat her. bitch. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you dude, just fucking lay on, lay on the fucking sand all day. Wait, what was her again? The robot movie. <sighs> not the robot movie. The guy where the movie that uh, Walking Phoenix is dating the the AI. He he comes back and abuses the AI. <laughs> no, but he talks to her. And he's Why like, are you many, talking to me like, like this? Like, how many men are you talking to right now? And she's like three hundred ninety eight thousand. <laughs> no, <-uh. laughs> yeah. Oh God. <laughs> and he's he gets jealous of the AI. Yeah. Because he thinks it's like a personalized thing for him. Slut. Sass, remember oh, the yeah, skit bitch. we were gonna do that was a play on her? Yeah, we should have done it. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> I was actually gonna I was gonna text you last night and say we should do the uh the AIDS one where you like where you're where, you're, where you're sitting at the bar and like a girl's coming to meet you and you're like yo don't tell her I have AIDS hey please. guys like I really, really like this girl this promise girl. me you don't tell you won't tell her I have AIDS like, I think tonight's the night promise me you won't ruin it by telling her I have AIDS <laughs> and then we we're gonna do a skit called slur it was like her but it just said it just called called minorities by names when you walked by them the AI Gee. yeah you should try that one yeah, out. but yeah we were gonna do just bleep it out every time yeah it's the ultimate loophole. I haven't seen her, but so that like, still we sounds would funny. know what it says, but like the consumer wouldn't. They would know. <laughs> well, by they'd the, have an idea. They'd by have the ethnicity. A idea, but it would be like their own internalized racism. Basically. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. They would have to assume. Because then you put out another saying. sketch where it's unbleeped and it's saying they're something saying nice. Very, they're, they're saying very, very nice things. things. It's like yeah. you're actually racist for assuming that yeah. something bleeped is racist. It's a slur. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah? Let's yeah, wrap it up. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, check out Anus podcast as well. A new KBA untold Nick's story. Podcast, a new untold story. Um, what else? On what Spotify. Else? Spot on Spotify. You want it on Spotify? Yeah, yeah we're Spotify, on Spotify. Apple. What else? Rediscovering Ooh, what else America. Rediscovering America. Rediscovering America, yeah. Rediscovering America. If Rediscovering you're America for the boys. Podcast. The uh, what's the other shit that you guys do? That fucking uh, what you guys sell shit. Oh, uh, uh, the shopping network. Shopping yeah. network. We don't need to promote that. Yeah, we yeah, have. <laughs> that's that's. If you guys have ever wanted to watch a thirty-minute commercial. Um, <laughs> 
I highly recommend that. If you're listening to this or watching it on YouTube, please like it. Please like the video. Helps a lot. Wait. Yeah, oh, fuck. I forgot that we were filming because we don't film our podcast. I've just been like touching my dick a lot. This oh, episode. that's okay. People, I think people been, love that. I've, I've been visibly autistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You <laughs> have. love I haven't been things. making it. My eyes have been looking down <laughs> the whole time. It helps I to forgot think. that as well. It helps to think. Blur me out on the YouTube. We'll cut you out. We'll, no, 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 no. We'll blur out your penis area. I'm still thinking about doors. <laughs> <laughs> same, right. bro. Like, same. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I feel like, Sass, you got real quiet when we t- started talking about I, doors. I did lose a little bit of You've never in thought about door doors. Why? What the care. fuck? I was, fuck. I was thinking about ending it there, to be honest. Why? What's I'm wrong thinking, with that? <laughs> I'm thinking about doors. You don't appreciate doors. And you have no door memories. It's like you just walk through doors and you just take them for granted. Every do. door you've ever walked right, we through. Don't need to, we don't need to retouch on the door uh, topic. Sass, I think we do. I think this entire episode. Do not cut the door topic. We don't cut. We this don't all cut, hinges on doors. This fucking... Yeah, yeah, good, let's good. get out of here. All right. Thanks for listening. Make sure to like the video if you're on YouTube, please. It helps. You said that already. Let's get out of here. <laughs>